So hey, welcome everybody. Dennis with all folks from Suspended Animation, and with me is Feisty Fan. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I have a face. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here at Comic Con 2019. Uh, so what do you think so far? I mean, it's the last day. We're on Sunday. It's about one o'clock, roughly. Or what is it? Yeah, about yeah one. Uh, so actually. It's funny because, well, I was just talking to Dennis before we started filming, but I have a different perspective of a successful con or a fun con because I'm working for a retailer. So, you know, I've stood in exclusive lines, which we got everything we needed, which was awesome. Um, I spent most of the con networking with artists, which was amazing. So meeting my heroes and... Um, Getting landing some big names like Bill Sienkiewicz was like awesome. So I had a great call. <laughs> nice. And I probably spent over two hundred dollars on artwork, but that's me. So hey, I spent uh, almost a hundred dollars on books, on two books, an audio book, and it's the same book as a matter of fact. The oh, the Thrawn one. Yeah, I also yeah. I, I got the Thrawn book too. So yeah. we're fans. It's yeah. a thing. Yeah. Timothy Zahn's a great writer. Exactly. And not only that, I mean, it just it was good packaging and everything else like that. It was a beautiful cover. Yeah. I've been wandering around myself. Uh, I've had the best time actually wandering around. Don't get me wrong. The boys panel was fantastic. The uh, Entertainment Weekly Brave Warriors panel was a lot of fun as well. That was kind of a surprise. And just talking to people in line as well, just waiting in line. Uh, like I said, the guys last night, or not last night, Friday night, uh, when I went to the boys uh, from here, yeah. uh, the guys that were with me in line were funny as hell. Okay? <laughs> we were waiting in line for three and a half hours, so. It's amazing, like that's one of my favorite things too, is the people you meet waiting in line. Yeah. Um, handing our, my card to people that were local, um, which I'm local in San Diego, so that, yeah, that yeah. says something. <laughs> But uh, meeting people or people that say they're in the area from time to time, um, getting Instagram names and, you know, you meet friends for life. It's, you know, it's... Yeah, it's an experience. It, it is. really is an experience. It's unlike anything else. Um, and uh, so what's been your favorite experience of the con so far? Um, or I should <laughs> say, you know, of the con. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> yeah, when I went to Bill Sienkiewicz's table, him remembering me, him jumping up from his seat and giving me a hug. And then, he, it's funny too, because last time I saw him, I was telling him about my divorce, and he's like, oh, you're wearing a ring. I'm like, oh yeah, it's just to hide this. He's like, he's like, and you're doing well. I'm like, yeah, but he remembered me. I was like, one of my favorite artists of all time, jumped up from his seat to give me a hug. So that was probably the best experience. Very cool. I know. Um. Yeah, mine actually, believe it or not, it's, it's split between two things. So the boys uh, from your party, which is only 300 people, uh, I was telling you this earlier, and I've told people this last <laughs> night too. So you're gonna get sick of me hearing about it because I never repeat stories at all. Uh, but yeah, standing there next to Jack Quaid, I didn't realize I was standing next to him, uh, who plays the lead, who plays Huey in the boys. And everyone else was inside, the entire cast was inside the mop, mop uh, uh, building there. He had snuck out, and people started recognizing him. The first person asked for his autograph. Someone asked for a selfie. And before I could whip my phone out, he got surrounded by security because they realized they lost one of their, uh, one of their sheep out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it? I think it was Friday night. I was sitting at the crosswalk, and um, <laughs> I saw Carl Urban walk by, and I'm like, oh, there goes my husband. <laughs> So that was cool to be in the same air he breathes. Nice, yeah. <laughs> I was probably about 50 feet away from him at the, the you know. Nice. So that was, that was cool. I mean, the whole cast, too. So that was, that was a lot of fun. It just really was. But my other thing, well, the small little thing that happened today, uh, I went over to get my DC exclusive poster for Swamp Thing. Mm -hmm. And the guy was checking me in. You know, and he goes, oh, you didn't get the Doom Patrol one up uh, back on uh, Thursday. And I'm like, yeah, I didn't. He goes, oh, you know, I, I didn't know what was happening. He goes, hang on a second. And he goes in the back and he grabs me a Doom Patrol poster and got me one of those. So I've got all four sets. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, cool, man. Thanks. And he's like, sweet. No problem. You know, he did that. And it was, that's one of the nice things, you know? Um, yeah. Well, I, when I was buying art, like I spent most of my time with Artist Alley, no matter what con I go to. But uh, meeting David Mack, getting one of my favorite Wolverine prints. 
and then handing him the store card and he's like oh you're close he's like actually here let me make this one he gave me an american gods print and made it out to the shop so it's wow. our first artwork made out to our new shop's name so i'm like oh that's awesome Very so cool. and he's such a if you guys like watercolors and like uh, he did a lot of the Jessica Jones covers. Um, he does oh, a yeah. lot. He does the Fight Club covers. Yeah. But uh, I highly recommend you checking uh, David Mack out. He's a very good artist. Nice. So, so anything else you're looking at uh, to wrap up the day here? I um I like walking the floor from one side to the other, and that's my favorite thing. So I get to you know wrap up the con doing what the one thing I want to do. Nice. And I gotta hit the Blizzard booth. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I've been doing the same thing. I've been walking the floor. Um, disappointed. I just got word. Think Geek, this is their last call. Yeah. After 20 years, they are done, done. Uh, and the guy actually, again, hooked me up with all the buttons for the 20th anniversary and everything because he saw my bag that has five years worth of patches on the back of <laughs> I've got it within reach. Yeah. Here you can see. It's got all my five years worth of patches on it. That's cool. Yeah. And so, yeah, he just gave me uh, like a big shiny pin that you can pay money for. And that. So maybe I'm not supposed to say that, but you know. You know, so there are some people that know fans and yeah. will be like, okay, yeah. Yeah. They do that and it's nice. Yeah, it is really kind of cool. So, I mean, that, that's what it's about. I mean, that's what this is all about is coming for, you know, one thing and maybe finding some other stuff, you know, while you're here. And maybe finding some stuff that you're actually surprised about that you didn't know that you're into. And just branching out and trying things out. That's what Comic Con's all about. It's not just movies, it's not just TV shows, it's not just comics even for that matter. You know, it's about uh, fans, is really what it is. Uh, like I said, I'm like, this is the weekend where I'm around my people. <laughs> <laughs> It, it doesn't matter what people are into, they're just fans and they're passionate and I love that, so... Me too. And it's in the air, it's like you can feel oh, yeah. it. Yeah, And I mean, I watched a little uh, girl, she couldn't have been more than two years old, uh, at the Sideshow booth. And her mom was dressed up as Spider-Gwen and was holding on to her. And they were going over to one of the Spider-Man uh, sculptures. And she's like, look, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. the girl at first was like... Mm. And then she looked over and went, and got this really big, bright smile on her face. It was like, yeah. Spider-Man. Exactly. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That's, so, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all I got. Yeah. So, um, any parting words about Comic Con? Um, I re if you can go, go, but don't let it be your first con experience. You need something <laughs> under your belt before you go to this con. Uh, that's my advice. Uh, actually, Wally, by the way, I remembered your name this time around. <laughs> Uh, he was actually it's his first con. Oh wow! That was in the, in the line with me for the boys. Oh like nice! That. Yeah, and he's having a blast. Uh, he's actually been responding on Instagram. Oh that's like cool! That. Yeah, and uh, he's here by himself too, which is is cool. I mean that's even when you go with the group, you're gonna do things and want to do things that the group doesn't. Branch out and do what you want to do. Exactly. Um, yeah. I know three year, or well, three years ago, um, I went to the costuming booths for like True Blood and or no, that was in two thousand nine, I think. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah, I ditched my party to go do what I wanted to do, and I don't regret. It. So yeah. you know, don't be afraid to do stuff by yourself because you'll make friends really quickly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree. I mean, um, I don't know. Yeah, you might want to do a smaller con just to kind of get an idea of what cons are about before you go and jump into Comic Con or even New York Con or something like that and uh, just get your feet wet a little bit. And this is unlike any other convention you're going to go to, quite honestly. I I've heard people that were here from New York Comic Con that have gone to New York Comic Con and are like, yeah, this is completely different. Uh, the line, a lot of people call it line con because you wait in lines for every day. And yeah, it is. But it's also what you make of it, too. You plan out and you have a plan A, plan B, plan C. Sometimes plan B comes up, too. And yeah. Be <laughs> like Tony. Have a contingency plan for your contingency plan. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And above all, have fun. I mean, that's what it's all about. So, 
thanks for <laughs> coming by and yeah. uh, making the time to hang out. Oh, absolutely. I had fun. It was nice to meet Dennis, finally. Yeah, so. yeah. and <laughs> plug yourself, too, why not, while you're there, and the shop. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. No? No, not right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.